Hey everyone, welcome to this Python app development tutorial series where we're going to be building a mobile application for various platforms, including iOS and Android, using a Python library called Kiwi. And uh, let me just demonstrate what we'll be building here. So I'm going to just run this uh, test application and it's going to be basically a login screen which is going to call a rest api and then we'll be able to create these tasks and be able to check them and also add some new tasks so i'll just add a test task over here and you'll see it goes back to the window and it creates our test task and it's got the scrollable view and then at the end of the series, we will build this for an Android device. And then if you have a MacBook, you will be able to build this for an iOS device. So I just want to say, if you are new to the channel, uh, please do subscribe. If you're interested in learning more about programming in general, uh, my channel covers uh, Python and game development at this point, but it will be expanding out into various other things such as JavaScript and PHP and C Sharp as well. And we will be looking at Golang and Rustlang and all sorts of different technologies going forward. So if you're interested in programming and you want to learn programming, then subscribe now and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos. So let's uh, talk about uh, going ahead and basically installing the application or basically installing Kiwi because the thing is that it's actually not as easy as it seems. So if you look at the documentation provided, um, they will basically say that you just need to create a virtual environment and then go and install uh, Kiwi using pip. But um, it, I found that uh, both uh, in Ubuntu over here and in Windows, which I'm going to be uh, doing this tutorial series in, it is uh, not as simple to actually install Kiwi from the get-go. So I'm going to give you a few tips here on what you can do. So one, you will have to follow the d documentation on the Kiwi website. And uh, let me just show you what that looks like. So the Kiwi website has uh, this little installation guide. So if you want to use Conda, that's maybe the easiest way to install it. Um, and if you don't, then you'll need to uh, use pip. So it'll be this sort of procedure down here, which you'll need to follow. But um, I actually found that uh, this is quite uh, difficult to use. And actually what happens is, I'll actually demonstrate to you now in uh, the Windows environment what the problem is that you might see. So if you try to install on the Windows environment, you might see something like this, a whole bunch of errors. So basically what I did is I just ran pip3 install Kiwi and it gave me all these errors. So you are probably going to be faced with this as well especially if you have uh, installed the latest version of Python. So if I just uh, look at my version um, on 3.8.5 and on the Ubuntu instance, I believe I was also on uh, 3.8.5. So let's just have a look and the version. So it's a 3.8 version. So it's pretty similar in versioning. But uh, the problem is that it doesn't work very well with Kiwi at the moment. And maybe you would want to go with a lower version, maybe uh, the latest version of uh, 2 or maybe a lower version of Python 3. But uh, what I can tell you is try to find the guide that is closest to your version. Um, how I actually solved the installation on Ubuntu was uh, basically compiling from source. And uh, I've got a procedure of how I did that on my website. You can check it in the description below. I'll leave a little link there and you can go read about how I did it in Ubuntu. But now I'm going to show you how to do it in Windows. So I think a lot of you are using Windows and not Ubuntu or Linux. So 
let's rather just look at the Windows installation. If you are using Mac, unfortunately you are on your own. You need to try and figure it out. But a lot of these errors you'll see if you look at them, um, it will be missing packages and dependencies. So let's look at how we can uh, sort out the installation in Windows. So I'm just going to bring my Visual Studio code over here. And let's see how we can actually solve this. So I'm going to look at the documentation again, uh, because I did actually follow parts of it to make it work. So one of the things that I found was uh, the silver bullet for me was I think I went over to Python 3.7 over here. Uh, that's obviously not it because uh, it's a broken page. Um, so let me just have a look here at, I think I went down here to stable and then I went to master. So master is the latest version of uh, the Kiwi framework at this point. And what I did here is just use this guide to try and get all the dependencies installed. You'll see there's a whole bunch of stuff here, but actually the most important thing here is this. So you need to make sure that you've got pip, wheel and setup tools. And then I found that this was the silver bullet to get it installed. So let's run these and then see if that makes a difference. So let's first of all run this one over here and I'm gonna use Python 3. So some of these dependencies are already satisfied, which is great. And let's run this one. And again, I want to use Python 3 here instead. So I just use Python 3. Now it's installing a whole bunch of things and dependencies. So again, this is if you are running a very new version of Python, then you maybe want to follow this route. So let's uh, give it a go again. Uh, pip3 install Kiwi. And let's see if it will work this time. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to come back when it's completed. So we're back and as you can see, we still have some errors. So the reason for that is because I did not run this in a virtual environment and most likely some of my dependencies are now clashing with different versions of Python libraries that I'm running. So the only way for you to fix this is to basically you'll need to create a Python virtual environment and let me show you how that works. So what you'll do is you'll run this command over here to create your virtual environment. And uh, this is just a folder name. So you could choose whatever folder name you like. And then it's going to create uh, the scripts activate in Windows and uh, probably going to be a little bit different in Linux. Uh, I can't say that I've seen scripts there before. I've actually just seen bin activate but you can just go and check that. And then basically you can activate your virtual environment with these commands. So the thing is, is that a virtual environment in Python basically just creates a segregated folder where all the libraries sit for that virtual environment and then allows you to basically run Python with uh, different versions of different library sets for different projects. And uh, that uh, kind of avoids uh, different clashing of different uh, dependencies and so on and the versions thereof. So what we'll do is um, I'm not actually going to follow this because this is pretty simple for you to just go follow. You just do this and you just rerun all these commands again to install. If that doesn't work for you, then Conda might be a good option for you to use to get a quick install because Conda has some intelligence around finding dependencies, installing the correct versions, etc. So that might help you if you want to go that route, but you'll have to go and install Conda, which you can actually find. I think it's not at this link. These are Wikipedia links. 
But if you just Google Conda, you'll be able to install it. The other route that I'll take is uh, I'm going to use this wheel file. So I'm going to just grab this and this will actually just download a wheel file, which has a bit of uh, the steps and things to install the right versioning. So I'm going to just grab that and then I'm going to go and run this on my little command line over here and then you'll see it will start installing. And it's installing a bunch of things and some of the packages we have, others we don't, and it says successfully installed Kiwi. So as you can see that was pretty simple, but now I need to actually prove to you that it actually worked. So to do that I'm just going to run Python so that we have our Python terminal and then I'm going to just simply import Kiwi app. So import Kiwi cloud app and you'll see that it's actually running the Kiwi console output that we would get when we run these applications. So that's basically it. We are now installed and I think for you maybe that's the easiest route. You choose the option maybe it's a good learning experience to just try and install the various different ways and see what issues you uh, have and hopefully the three different options i've given you will make you install or allow you to install kiwi without any hassles and you will be able to follow the rest of this tutorial series so what I want to do now is I just want to install something called Kiwi MD, which is, stands for Kiwi Material Design. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like. And um, then I'm going to just install it. And then we can just try and run something, see if it, if it works. So I'm just going to show you the website, uh, first of all, just so that you can get an idea of what it is and then we can uh, go from there and just find it here quickly so there's a couple of things here so I'll just go over to this and you'll see basically what it does it will provide us some nice little uh, components which we can use in our Python uh, Kiwi application to be able to create mobile styled applications. So the issue with uh, Kiwi uh, native basically without Kiwi MD is you need to go and create each of your components and this could be quite useful if you are trying to build something completely custom from scratch. But if you are looking to just get a bit of a, a mobile look and feel, then Kiwi MD is going to get you there the fastest um, because there are things like uh, these buttons which are already created where regular Kiwi doesn't have uh, very nice buttons. It's more suited for desktop applications. So uh, if you don't know, Kiwi basically allows you to build for multiple platforms and it's um, mobile devices, uh, Linux, Windows, and Mac operating systems. So it's uh, very versatile in many ways. And if you are able to, or actually you have a stack where you need to go and build for all these different uh, operating systems, Kiwi might be a really good choice for you. So we're going to just install Kiwi MD, and then we're going to be able to uh, start using these components. So just to go over to getting started here, so it should be as simple as just running this and uh, I'm going to run that and let's see if it is that simple. I haven't uh, tried this on Windows yet, so let's give it a go. And it seems that we are quite lucky and that it did work. And maybe let's try run my example project now to see if everything is working before we start jumping into the tutorial of building it. And there is something wrong. It's not happy about something. And uh, import error DLL load failed while importing Windows SDL2. Uh, let's just see if it's there's a quick thing we can figure out here to try and make it work. Let's see, uh, there's nothing else. Pretty much fine. 
fine 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 and then it has some issue able to find any valuable window provider uh, potential causes SDL2 importing the specified module could not be found so what we maybe want to try and do here is just uh, try and install to see if it is this pip install tv depths dot sidle 2 and that's already satisfied so it's not that import when porting window sidle 2 so this is again part of the development process is to just try and understand these errors so I am going to use a bit of Google here just to get a bit of a hint on what the issue could be. So I'm not seeing anything obvious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to fix this. And then when I come back, I will give you the solution. So we're back. And it turns out the only way to fix this is to create a virtual environment in the end anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, do that uh, just to get past this point. So very simply what we'll do is just run Python and minus M virtual ENV. And I'm just going to call my virtual environment Python application tutorial. And that's going to create the virtual environment. And then basically you just need to run Python tutorial slash scripts slash activate. And you'll see basically we have now changed into the Python application tutorial environment. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our wheel again so that we can actually install this quite easily. So I'm going to go back over to the Kiwi website and grab that installation. So I'm just finding it quickly and then we'll pop it right in here like this. Oh, that's the wrong one. Copy and paste it and hit that. And I was going to install Kiwi again. a couple of minutes and then finally we'll install kvmd again and now we can try and run our application so let's just do test.py and you'll see that now it is running in Windows. So we are now ready to actually get into the coding part of this tutorial. But uh, this tutorial is getting quite long and I think I've gone into quite a lot of depth on ways to get around issues that Kiwi can give you uh, when setting up. And then I think once you've got your setup ready, we can look at the actual code in the next tutorial video. So thanks again for watching. If you liked this video and found it useful, please like below and comment and I will see you in the next video.